In the heart of Stowe, Vermont, lies a place that locals only speak of in hushed whispers, Emily's Bridge. The narrow, weathered structure is an enigma, its time-worn wooden planks creaking with the weight of a tragic past. It was a moonlit night when a stranger arrived in town, a mysterious man with a haunting aura that sent shivers down the spines of those who crossed his path. As the legend goes, a century ago, a young woman named Emily had fallen deeply in love with a dashing young man from a neighboring village. Their clandestine meetings on the bridge were their only solace, for their families harbored a bitter feud. One fateful night, they planned to elope under the cover of darkness, but their dreams were shattered when Emily's lover never showed. Desperate and heartbroken, Emily waited on the bridge, the whispering wind carrying her anguished cries into the night. It is said that her despair was so profound that it carved an indelible mark into the very essence of the bridge. As the years passed, her restless spirit was rumored to linger, eternally searching for her lost love. The townsfolk tell chilling tales of encountering a spectral figure on the bridge, Emily herself, her eyes hollow and filled with sorrow, her voice a mournful lament that echoes through the silence of the night. They recount hearing the mournful tapping of footsteps, though no visible form accompanies the sound. Objects vanish and reappear, moved by an unseen force, as if Emily's spirit is trapped in a world between the living and the dead. One stormy night, a group of adventurous teenagers decided to test the legends themselves. Armed with candles and nerves of steel, they gathered on Emily's bridge, determined to make contact. As the clock struck midnight, a sudden gust of wind extinguished their candles, plunging them into darkness. Whispers surrounded them, a chorus of ghostly voices that seemed to emanate from the very depths of the bridge. Panic set in as their flashlights flickered and failed. Suddenly, the bridge began to vibrate beneath their feet. The planks groaned in agony, and a misty figure materialized before them, a woman in a tattered white gown, her hair flowing like ebony tendrils. Her mournful gaze seemed to pierce through their souls, and her wailing cry resonated in their ears. Frozen in terror, the teenagers could only watch as the apparition reached out her hand passing through the chest of one unfortunate soul. With a blood-curdling scream, the group scattered, fleeing into the night, forever scarred by their encounter. From that day on, the bridge's malevolent reputation grew, becoming a place of dread for those who knew its secrets. Emily's Bridge stands as a chilling reminder that love and tragedy can bind souls to the mortal realm long after their time has passed a haunting tale that still echoes in the hearts of those who dare to listen.